What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the X-70B Phantom Class prototype that was used by the Sith Empire. They classified all information on who manufactured it, and these were also never mass-produced. We will talk about who was entrusted with them, and how they were used during the time of the Old Republic, but first let's take a look at its stats. At a whopping 80 meters or 262 feet, it was about an A-wing shorter than the XS Stocklight Freighter, and an X-wing longer than the D-5 Mantis. But to be fair, Old Republic ships are longer than a Dubak's tongue at high noon in the middle of July on Tatooine, so I wanted to compare it to some more modern crafts as well. 80 meters would make this ship more than twice the length of the Millennium Falcon, and nearly half a CR-90. At 94 meters or 308 feet wide, it was 9 X-wings across, and about 1 sixth as wide as the Venator-class Star Destroyer. And being 18 meters or 59 feet tall, it was about two Wookiees shorter than an AT-AT, and more than twice the height of a TIE Fighter. For some real-world comparisons, it was just a bit longer than the Boeing 747, and one and a half times as wide. And if someone set this down on the city block, it would be about six stories tall. The Phantom was equipped with a hyperdrive, and although what type it was was also kept a secret, I think we can safely say that it was a Class 1. This was one of the Sith Empire's most advanced prototype ships, so it would be very strange if they gave it something that was inferior to most starfighters. Being intended for use by intelligence agents deep behind enemy lines, it had a prototype material known as Stealth Plating, a final layer that was added to the ship's hull, that worked as one of the galaxy's earliest successful cloaking devices. This ability was made even more effective in combination with a state-of-the-art high-power sensor array. What makes it high power, you ask? Well, it had the ability to not just detect ships at a great distance, but also map out the interiors of those nasty Republic vessels. This invaluable intel could be passed on to Sith High Command, or used by the Imperial agent and his team to neutralize any threats on their own. As for its armament, it packed concussion missile launchers with an undisclosed amount of missiles on board, along with these enormous heavy laser cannons. This is more than enough firepower to rip apart any starfighter or freighter it came across, and it could easily blow holes into capital ships. But luckily, despite all the Sith's efforts to keep this ship a secret, we do have an opportunity to take a quick tour of the X-70B. As we approach, you can see the three enormous landing gears, with one extending near the entry ramp. As we board, take notice of the high-quality interior detail and craftsmanship. Turning left or towards the aft of the ship, we enter a small hold, and if we continue, we end up in the main cargo area. We don't have official stats on the tons of cargo that could fit here, but just the raw space could accommodate many Dubak families. Back through this connecting room, we end up in the engineering room, containing many data screens to monitor the engines and weapons, along with physical access to the massive prototype ion engine. Going out and moving to this port side room, we see beds for four crew members, and two hollow terminals for downtime and research. Then out and back past the entryway, we continue down this long hallway, before arriving at the largest room in the Phantom. This area has a large hollow display terminal at the center of the room, with several small stations surrounding it, along with plenty of seating. This starboard side room was used for mission briefings, where the data collected from this spy ship would be reviewed with the team, along with Sith Top Brass. Making our way to the port side offshoot room, we see the med bay, which contained a healing tank that could be filled with Kolto, or Bacta, along with a medical database that could be accessed by droids and organics, and of course a bed. Moving towards the bow, we arrive at the captain's quarters, containing hollow terminal, larger bed, and a storage locker. As we continue towards the bridge, we see multiple stations for the crew, and this captain's chair in front of a hollow map of the galaxy. Let's conclude this tour before the agents discover us, and talk about how this ship was used by the Sith Empire. Like 007 and his sleek silver Aston Martin, only a handful of elite Imperial secret agents were entrusted with this beautiful and powerful machine. And similarly, it was designed to read as a classy version of an everyday vehicle, not as a high-tech spy ship. Some say the Phantom looks like an oversized version of ships produced by Nubia Star Drives, and this was kind of on purpose, as luxury shuttles were less likely to be harassed by authorities. It looked way too nice to be used for smuggling, invoking an assumption in many that it was most likely escorting politicians or business leaders, so think of the X-70B as being even less likely to get pulled over than a Rolls Royce full of lawyers. In the year 3678 BBY, Exile Crash was awarded one by her master, who was none other than the Sith Emperor. And when she defected, she used this ship's incredible stealth systems to evade the Empire. 
After infiltrating Korriban, she leaked military secrets to the Republic concerning the defense capabilities and importance of the Korriban Academy. Knowing this opportunity could not be ignored, the Republic launched a full-scale invasion that resulted in the battle over Korriban. In another example of how this ship was only entrusted to top agents, Darth Saravan was another of the Sith species that utilized an X-70B. Saravan supported Malgus's move to establish a new empire, but his prized ship was captured and used to put an end to the False Emperor. And though it is built to last, because there were never very many of these produced, I believe it is unlikely that any still exist in the galaxy. So that's it for its history, but you definitely want to hear these cool facts and behind the scenes stuff. The ship was first introduced in the webcomic Blood of the Empire, and seen in the Old Republic video game. Stats come from the Old Republic Encyclopedia, with other info gained by the Old Republic Holonet. It is unknown what the X-70A was, or if it existed at all. And this isn't confirmed, but the name may be a reference to the XB-70. This was a prototype ship produced by the United States, which was intended to be a deep penetration strategic bomber. Though many point out that it had a similar appearance and role to the SR-71, which like the Phantom was also designed for espionage. So that's it for the Sith spy ship, the X-70B Phantom. If you want to connect with us, help support this channel, or get your own copies of the reference materials used to make this video, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, make sure you have absolute loyalty before giving away prototype stealth ships, and the Force will be with you, always.